Yes guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the best way to farm and save crystals leading up to the 4th anniversary of Dragon Ball Legends. Now, uh, as you can see, I have almost 9,000 crystals. I have been saving up every single crystal I have been able to farm since I summoned for Jiren and I did manage to pull him. And I do suggest everyone right now should be skipping anything that releases, even though we are getting a reveals and stuff coming up soon for the second part of the 60 million download uh, celebration as you can see it says there reveals and stuff which is going to be either a new LF or a new all-star banner or maybe a free-to-play ultra who knows but it's going to be something big because that's when we normally get reveals and stuff when something big is releasing really unexpected but it will be you know for Saiyan day as well so uh, it's going to be something pretty interesting and uh, definitely let's keep an eye on that. If it is a very, very good release, of course, you will want to spend crystals on that. But if it's something that you can afford to skip, then 100% skip that and uh, get ready for the fourth anniversary, which is under three months away. This uh, anniversary starts on the 31st of May and it will last till about the middle of July as it does usually. Uh, so you want as many crystals as you can. Uh, when that anniversary does drop because that is when we do get the best characters and we can be expecting some really juicy stuff this year such as MUI Goku for example might be making his appearance uh, and stuff like that so yeah if you want a chance of getting MUI Goku guys you want to have as many crystals as you can get so the best way to get crystals I will obviously go through events first because that is obviously the main way you want to do all the battle gauntlets these events and all this stuff here you want to clear all the challenges as well like in here uh, for example this event a lot of people might skip over these challenges and just come just clear it and you know get the stuff done but if you clear these challenges you are getting three crystals for every one which doesn't seem like a lot at first sight but then when you do um, add the numbers up it does add up to 21 crystals per challenge which is actually quite a lot if you uh, do it for every single stage in this event as you can see so you are going to be getting quite a few crystals from there if you do this for every single event event that there is available so you want to be doing that regardless guys clear every single challenge of every single event and you will be assuring that you will be getting the most amount of crystals that you can from these events uh, missions as well you want to be clearing all the missions that you can uh, especially the ones from events that are the ones that give you the most crystals as you can see here up to 1500 crystals available right now and then another 250 from the adventures another 200 from co-op if you do do that every day and these are very important as well the missions from pvp which give up to 300 crystals every season which is really easy to do all you have to do is play the game it's pretty simple and if you play a lot you will be getting those 300 crystals every couple of weeks which is really good same thing for tournament of power so as you can see we do have a lot of recurring uh, crystals that we get all the time such as the adventures ones the monthly missions the co-op uh, the tournament of power and the pvp so these will all uh you know they come and go but they're always there available for you uh, so that is basically something that you should always be doing uh, and then you have of course the exclusive missions that are out for a limited amount of time such as these ones here that give uh, 1500 crystals at the moment but that does vary depending on, uh, on on what time of the year it is and what events are out in the current time of course so that is how to get the most crystals from your events of course the other way is story this is the best way to get crystals if you're like me you clear all the story and you do all the challenges for the story uh now you know i i do have a few challenges here that i still haven't done but pretty much most of them are all completed and now when i actually do the story i clear challenges first time as you can see i haven't got around to doing the last part of this uh uh, part 12 but as you can see I do clear all the challenges now it, just so you can do the math pretty quickly uh, every stage of this when you clear it the first time will give you 10 crystals when you uh, when you clear it then 10 more crystals for completing the mission of clearing it so that's already 20 and then like we said before the missions or the challenges should I say give you another 21 crystals so that is 41 crystals per um story part which is just ridiculous it's very very good um so yeah like i say every stage of the story will give you 41 crystals the first time you clear it and that is a lot of crystals if you haven't done all the story yet and even if you're thinking well i don't want to go back and do these challenges well you know it might be only three crystals per stage that you're getting but you can literally clear this in about i don't know 
five minutes so you can do a bunch of stages you know and in five minutes you will have gotten yourself about 50 crystals or so if you do put the work in so it is pretty simple and it's something that you guys should be doing uh you know all the time another way which is a, a very effective way of getting crystals if we go into tournament of power for example is to rank high in tournament of power uh which is obviously not the easiest thing to do because you need characters with a lot of stars you need to run the right strategy and the right team but if you do finish in the high ranks of the tournament of power mode you will get up to 1000 crystals actually 1100 because you do get the extra 100 just for completing uh, the event and you do get 300 for actually completing all the stages so that is a total of 1300 or 1400 crystals should i say uh, for completing the tournament of power which is really really good as you can see i'm in rank 3000 right now which would guarantee me uh, the 100 from here and uh, the extra 1000 from here which is really nice so that is something that i'm working towards and everyone should be doing that as well and then if you go into pvp it's much of the same here guys you should be trying to at least get into the top i think 15 percent or so so you guys can get the uh the ranking rewards for finishing here um yeah the top 15 percent top uh, 50 percent if you get at least 300 crystals if you're a casual player that would still be nice you know to get every couple of weeks so work towards that of course i always go for the 1000 uh if you feel like you're capable of doing that and finishing in the top 10,000 in pvp then definitely go for that it's the best way of, of uh, increasing your skill in the game as well so you're also learning how to play the game and getting better at the same time so that is the best way to farm crystals now let's talk about saving crystals and the best way to do that the first thing you do not want to do is spend crystals on re-rolling equipment i don't do that and i have still managed to get this amount of z pluses so you can do that too it's not that hard just don't be tempted by it another thing is summoning limit yourself to only doing the dailies for the banners that you actually want characters from so for example i don't do the dailies for these banners here because they aren't necessary for me to get these characters uh say and these up here i want these characters so i'll do the dailies for them but i don't do more than three or four dailies a day i do focus on some of the Zenkai's but these for example I don't care about them right now I'll get around to them at a later date so right now I am saving crystals every day because I'm only doing these dailies on these Zenkai's and on these banners like if I did every single daily that was available to me I would probably be at a negative crystal count right now which isn't what I want so that's why you should not be doing every single daily that you have available to you and another thing that is really important do not spend for the sake of spending crystals i know that these banners are very tempting and you might be sitting around bored one day and you're like well you know i want to do some summons and i have like 3,000 crystals let me do a rotation on jiren's banner or let me just do a couple multis on on, on this banner it doesn't always work out the way you want it the way i like to see it is once you're past a certain amount of crystals let's say you have over 5,000 crystals, then just picture yourself arriving at the anniversary with over, let's say, 30 to 40,000 crystals, ready for that MUI Goku when he drops, ready for the next summonable ultra, because we all know how strong this guy is right now. Uh, imagine if you got to a banner that had a unit with this guy's quality on it and you had 40,000 crystals. I'm sure you would be much better off spending them on that than 3,000 crystals every time a banner drops, if you know what I mean. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is just what I wanted to talk about. How to save crystals, how to farm crystals as well. Just make sure you're doing everything in the game, playing consistently, and you will get those crystals up. And then it's just about controlling your emotions and saving from then on. So like I said, we do have a reveals and stuff coming out soon. Let's keep an eye on what that's going to be. I will have obviously a video talking about that and then breaking that down once we do get the reveals and stuff Um obviously whenever this drops which is going to be on the 15th so not long left until that video drops so yeah guys i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash a like subscribe if you are new around here for more dragon ball legends content we just hit 8250 subscribers so thank you for that let's push for that 8.3k and then eventually slowly work towards the 10,000 subscriber mark thank you guys for watching i'll catch you next time peace